All right, so the Battlefield beta is about to come to an end. It's open beta period it is basically ending tonight. For those of you who haven't played it, TLDR version, it's pretty good. Plays like a Battlefield game. There's some minor flaws that you could probably go ask a lot of other more Battlefield focused YouTubers about, ranging from the way the soldiers look to the way the storm affects the gameplay. Personally, I think overall it plays and shoots very well. I'm very excited about it being 128 players, especially on modes like Breakthrough. But that is not why I'm here today. The main issue is that I like the bots in Battlefield 2042 a lot. I'm a big bots fan. I like playing with AI because I suck at shooters. Not all the time, but sometimes I just want to chill and play with AI and just blast with some, you know, with some robots. And this game has that, which is really cool. You can play with up to 64 on next gen. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But this game also has baked in DRM. You cannot play it unless you go online, which I understand a lot of people would just think, uh, not even think about because the majority of you who will buy this game, probably all of you in fact, will play this game online with other people. But the reason why bots are a good thing to have is because if any of you played the old battlefields or the old battlefronts you would know hell even the most recent battlefront 2 also by fucking ea dice you would know that bots can really go a long way to make a game playable when there's no one playing it anymore in five years six years battlefield games usually end up dead try playing battlefield hardline if you want to play anything but conquest or team deathmatch you're kind of asked out same thing with Battlefield 4, same thing with Battlefield 1. You can find more games on Battlefield 1, but it's still sparse. The only game with a thriving online player base, at least on console, from my point of view, is Battlefield 5. Long story short, you don't need DRM on this. You can keep it offline so we can play with bots years and years from now. Or at the very least, EA DICE, have an offline mode. If you ever played... Um, Verdun or Tannenberg by uh, Millbox Games, I think. You could essentially, in the start menu, choose between going offline or online. And when you go offline, it just sends you to the bot mode to, to play with the bots on all the maps fully supported with up to 32. That is something that I think Battlefield 2042 should think about adding in. It's something that you can add in. Because at one point, Verdun and Tannenberg were also online-only games, but they realized that was a stupid idea because only a, about 100 people play their games at any given moment. Anyway, I'm just a big fan of Battlefield. I want to be able to enjoy this one years out. This game looks like it's going to be a home run. So I really would like to be able to play this game in a few years. I'm going to play the hell out of it now, but I always like having that option. Thanks. Have a good day, YouTube.